Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Coding Bot. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to push your changes of a project um, into your GitHub repository by using Visual Studio Code simply by using your VS Code. Let's start. Before going to the video, make sure to subscribe for Coding Bot and turn on the bell icon to get more updates in the future. First of all, we have to log in to your GitHub account inside VS Code. To do that, give the internet connection to your computer and just go to this GitHub tab and there will be a button called sign in. Just click on that. Git will ask from you the extension GitHub pull request and issues want to sign in using GitHub. And I have also um, installed this one. You have to install this first. Now go to the GitHub tab in here and just click on this sign in button and click on allow. Make sure to give the internet connection and it will open in here by using one of your browser or default browser and now it asks from you authorize github for vs code and we have to click on this authorize visual studio code button the green button in here now it says you are being redirected to authorized um, github platform so allow an extension to open this uri just click on this open button the pre-requirement is, you saw that I have already logged in to my, logged into my GitHub account on this browser. Otherwise, you will redirect them to the login page and you have to read, log into your GitHub account by using your credentials. Now you can see it is loading something in here. And if you see something like this, it confirms you are successfully logged into your GitHub account inside VS Code. Now let's see how to push our changes into our GitHub repository to the remote GitHub repository. In this directory, I'm gonna push these changes into my remote GitHub repository. First of all, you have to initialize a git in an empty git repository, local git repository. To do that, firstly you have to use this git init command and initialize an empty GitHub repository. These changes are coming here. That ensures I have already initialized a GitHub repository in my local machine. That's why it shows these changes in this version controlling or source controlling tab. Now we can add all the changes to the staging level. To do that, use this git add dot command. Dot means all changes. Just press on enter. These are line changes, LF and CRLF. You have to learn more about this. This will be more important while you are coding. Now we have to commit the changes, git commit hyphen m. Now we have to give a proper commit message. I'm gonna use client side developed, press enter. All changes has been committed. Now we can, I'm gonna clear the screen again. Now we have to use the git push origin command and give the your branch name, I'm gonna directly push these changes to my master branch. I'm gonna push my changes to the client, news client repository. You can see now it is empty. We have to initialize our GitHub repository link here before pushing our changes. Now all the changes are in our local GitHub um, repository. Now we're gonna push our changes to the remote. Firstly, we have to git add remote origin and our repository link. The command should be changed here, git remote add origin. You can see remote origin already exists because, because I have I initialized my GitHub uh, URL previously. If you have uh, first time, if you are going to initialize this url first time you will not see this message now we can push our changes directly to the master branch as i mentioned you previously you can define the branch name you are going to push your changes press enter you can use new branch master branch all changes has been pushed to the github repository now we can refresh this page to check that. 
right we can see all the changes are in my um, github repository inside github just go to the git playlist in my channel and there are so many videos on how to um, deal with github and how to fix errors about github follow that videos as well i think you learned something please give a thumbs up to the video and make sure to subscribe for coding bot and turn on the bell icon to get more more updates in the future bye for now